Well, it's 7 p.m. now. People were here digging holes to put in fiber. And uh, so here we go. I have a hole here on my, well, it's not literally my property because it's, uh, my property ends the other side of the sidewalk, but anyway, there's a nice, it's a nice deep hole right there. And one on the corner. And then another one over here that's also mine. There we go. Having a little hard time with uh, seeing what I'm recording because the sun is in my eyes. But anyway, there's, there's actually uh, two holes here for the price of one or whatever and uh, another one up here and that one's on the that one's for the neighbors neighboring uh, property but uh, I've got some of the some of the soil on mine so yeah so I was uh, out in the back in my place over there doing some cleaning up and uh, early this morning and then I had changed clothes and I was sitting down resting on my recliner and a yeah, knock on the door and somebody from the utility company, the power company, was there with a meter. He wanted to test if there was gas in my house because somebody on the fiber crew hit a gas line. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's it's funny because I mean they were here marking one one bunch was here marking well the the sewer the sewer guys guy was were here uh, making the blue ones blue lines I guess that was uh, the city or were they the green lines so there's blue lines there's green lines there's white marks there's yellow lines <laughs> they still somehow managed yeah just just happens sometimes so uh, anyway I had been thinking about it actually because yesterday I saw a thing where a building in uh, in Ohio had exploded bottom floor had exploded out and uh, they were at first saying they thought maybe it was a, a gas line during construction. So I was, I was thinking here and I was going, gosh, I hope they don't hit a gas line. And ha ah, da da, they hit a gas line. Um, so then just the other side of the, the other side of the stop sign, the other, across the street from where that stop sign is, the dead end, between the stop sign and the dead end sign, they were all out there, Illinois Power and, uh, the utility locators and everybody was out there for a while. So I guess somebody gonna get yelled at. I don't know. <laughs> Not me. Not my problem. I didn't do it. And the, the man wanted to test look in the cellar also. So I took him around to the hatch here and uh Told him he would need to take the hose off the hatch so that he could open it, which he did. And then he said he wanted to leave it open, and I said so he could come back and check again. And I said, no, don't do that because there are cats around here, and I don't want to have to get a cat out of there. So he said, okay, he would close it and open it if he needed it again, but he would leave the leave the hose off until he was done with it and uh, then put it back. And so here lay the hose, which is fine. I mean, I can lift the hose and put it on there. It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> so anyway, that's where we're at. We are getting, getting toward dark over here. 
The sun is behind the behind the houses from in back here. It's really nice back here. Sometimes I'm unhappy with myself that I put all those trees and stuff in because it's stuff I have to deal with, but at a time like this when I come back here and it's it's nice and cool and green and there are little birds and stuff um, hanging around enjoying it. It's, I guess, worth it. Okay, well, I'm tired and I'm going to work again in the morning, so hope you're having fun. Bye-bye. Take care.